we're asked to compute the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrix A and then solve the system given by the equation x prime equals A times x. To determine the eigenvalues of the matrix, we need to set up the equation the determinant of the difference of matrix A and lambda i equals zero and solve for lambda. Let's go ahead and set this up. Again, we have the determinant of the difference of matrix A and lambda times the three by three identity matrix equals zero. Next, we simplify inside the parentheses, which gives us the determinant of the three by three matrix where the first row is one minus lambda, zero, and three. The second row is negative one and negative lambda one. The third row is two, zero, two minus lambda. And now we evaluate the determinant. Let's use expansion by minors and use the first row. This indicates the determinant is equal to the first entry in row one, column one, times the determinant of the matrix after deleting row one and column one, which gives us the determinant of the two by two matrix with entries negative lambda one, zero, and two minus lambda. Next, we move to the second entry in row one, which is a zero, so we can go ahead and stop here. We're gonna have minus zero. And now we move along to the last entry in row one, which is a three. So we have plus three times the determinant of the matrix after deleting row one and column three, which gives us a determinant of the two by two matrix with entries negative one, negative lambda, two, and zero. Working our way from left to right, we have one minus lambda times the determinant, which is equal to negative lambda times two minus lambda, minus one times zero, which is zero. And we have minus zero, we can drop that. We have plus three times the determinant of the two by two matrix here, where the determinant is equal to negative one times zero, which is zero, minus negative lambda times two, and all this is equal to zero. Clearing the parentheses and simplifying, we have negative lambda cubed plus three lambda squared plus four lambda equals zero, which we can solve by factoring. If we factor out negative lambda, we have negative lambda times the quantity lambda squared minus three lambda minus four equals zero. Factoring further, we have negative lambda times the quantity lambda plus one times the quantity lambda minus four equals zero. Notice we have three distinct real eigenvalues. We have lambda sub one equals negative one, lambda sub two equals zero, and lambda sub three equals four. And now we want to determine corresponding eigenvectors for each eigenvalue. To do this, for each eigenvalue, we set up the equation, in our case, the difference of matrix A and lambda I times vector V equals the zero vector, and then determine a vector V, which will give us a corresponding eigenvector. So to get started, let's begin with lambda sub one equals negative one. Again, setting up the equation, we have the matrix A minus negative one for lambda times the three by three identity matrix times vector V equals the zero vector. Simplifying in the parentheses, we have the three by three matrix with entries two, zero, three, negative one, 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 and two, zero, three, times vector V equals a zero vector. And now to solve this system, let's add an augmented matrix where the first row is two, zero, three, zero, the second row is negative one, 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 zero, and the third row is two, zero, three, zero. And now let's write this in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done here on the right. Notice how we have a row of zeros indicating we have an infinite number of solutions. The first row indicates V1 plus three halves V3 equals zero. The second row indicates V2 plus five halves V3 equals zero. Notice V3 is a free variable. Let's write those equations as V1 equals negative three halves V3, V2 equals negative five halves V3, and V3 equals V3, again, because it's a free variable. And now we can select any value for V3 so that our corresponding eigenvector doesn't have fractions. Let's let V3 equal negative two. If V3 is equal to negative two, notice V1 is equal to three, and V2 is equal to five. This gives us the corresponding eigenvector of three, five, negative two. And now we do the same for lambda sub two and lambda sub three. For lambda sub two equals zero, the setup is, again, the difference of matrix A and lambda times the three by three identity matrix times vector V equals a zero vector. Notice in this case, because lambda sub two is zero, we just have matrix A times vector V equals a zero vector. Next, we write the augmented matrix and write it in reduced row echelon form. Notice V two is a free variable. Row one indicates V one equals zero. The second row indicates V3 equals zero, and because V2 is a free variable, V2 equals V2, 
where v2 can be any real number. So if we let v2 equal one, a corresponding eigenvector for lambda sub two equals zero is the vector v sub two equals zero, one, zero. And then finally we have lambda sub three equals four. Here we have our setup, simplifying inside the parentheses. We have our three by three matrix times vector v equals a zero vector. Next we write the augmented matrix, and rather than reduced row echelon form, notice v3 is a free variable. The first row indicates that v1 equals v3, the second row indicates v2 equals zero, and v3 is a free variable. So if we let v3 equal one, a corresponding eigenvector is one, zero, one. Because we have three real distinct eigenvalues and now three corresponding eigenvectors, we can write the general solution to part b, which is the solution to x prime equals a times x. The general solution is x equals c1 times the eigenvector three, five, negative two times e to the power of negative t. The exponent is negative t because lambda sub one is negative one. Then we have plus c sub two times the eigenvector of zero, one, zero times, we would have e to the zero, which is one, so we can leave that off. And then plus c three times the eigenvector one, zero, one times e to the power of four t because lambda sub three is equal to four. I hope you found this helpful.